Yo, welcome back for another video. All right, ladies and gents, grab your coffee, tighten your lens hoods, and hold on to your overpriced tripods because Canon might have just solved one of the most annoying problems in photography. And they did it with magnets. So where to start? I guess autofocus, but more specifically, fast autofocus, you know, like on a big beefy zoom lens like the Canon 100 to 500 RFL lens, the kind of lens that makes your bank account cry and your neck muscles beg for mercy. Yeah, that. So when you make a lens like that, try and focus fast, it starts doing this little dance, you know, jittering, tilting, wobbling like Elvis during an earthquake. The footage, it ends up looking like it was shot by a caffeinated raccoon on rollerblades. And if you ever tried to record audio, while your lens motor squeals louder than your neighbor's leaf blower, well, then you know exactly what I mean. Enter a new shiny Japanese patent that Canon just filed, the JP2025-080717. And no, that's not a Star Wars droid, it's an actual engineering flex that dropped last month. Now, it seems that Canon is going full Tony Stark with this one, using two or more linear motors spaced around the lens barrel like slices of pizza. Now, these motors aren't just placed randomly either. Inside each motor is two coils and get this, one of them is intentionally bent. Now, these coils, they work with something called the Hallbach array, which kind of sounds like a Hogwarts spell, but it's actually a super smart magnetic arrangement that keeps the field directed where it matters most. Less power waste, less lens wobble, more chef's kiss, autofocus. So what does this mean for us mortals with camera straps and carpal tunnel? Well, for still shooters, we get faster, tighter autofocus and lighter lenses that don't feel like gym equipment. But will that cause more RF lenses to break? Only time's gonna tell on that one. So then there's video shooters. You're gonna get smoother transitions, less motor noise and wait for it, no more re-recording lines because your lens sounds like a microwave from 1992. So is this just another fancy patent that'll collect dust on a server in Japan? Maybe, or maybe not. And as of now, there's no mentions of exact lenses or apertures, but just for a second, let's read between the lines like camera nerds do at 2 a.m. Now this tech screams 70 to 200, 100 to 500, you know, the usual suspects. So here's the takeaway. Canon's working smarter, not just harder. Now they're aiming for that sweet spot where performance meets portability without compromising quality. Now, this is the kind of innovation that makes you go, all right, Canon, we see you. So drop me a comment, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think that this is gonna make it to lenses that we'll use or will this just sit and collect dust? If you found this video helpful, confusing, or at least mildly entertaining, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and click the bell to be notified of all new videos. Also, hit up my website to grab some of my new photo prints, as well as my Lightroom presets pack with 13 presets that I use for all my photo projects. And until next time, get out and shoot, and I'll catch you again soon. Yeah, I will, later.